We've got 3A versus 2A as the Safford Bulldogs hosted the visiting Pima Rough Riders who made the 10 mile trek with fans in tow. Early on, to nobody's surprise, Pima's Dawson Przinski established himself as a force to be reckoned with down low, and even when his counterpart Drew Cochran had great defensive position, Przinski still got it to go like this double pump shot for the bucket. With guards Alec Judd and Tim Sawyer attacking the rim, things appeared to be good for Pima. Well, appearances were wrong, as it was the Bulldogs who took the early lead, as Jadrik Chavez and Andrew Smith both scored at the bucket. Smith then came off a pick and threw a straight dart from the parking lot for this deep three. Transition buckets also favored the Bulldogs, as Pima made a couple of bad passes which Safford quickly turned into points, and then Smith came up with the tipped pass to take it the other way and give a nice no-look pass to McKinney for the bucket. Trett Wiltbank then hit a three at the end of the first period to give Safford a six-point lead, 17-11. Smith continued his hot hand in the second, and Cochran got his swerve on when he told Sawyer to not bring that stuff into his house. The block seemed to invigorate Cochran, who then went off with two straight three-pointers to give Safford its biggest lead of the night when they were up by 13 points, 27 to 14, halfway through the second period. Pima stuck around by scoring second chance points as both Jake Whitaker and Hayden Ashby both got putbacks. Sawyer then took this rebound coast to coast and gave a nice dish to Ashby, who put it through the hoop. Ashby then found Levi Ferguson, and his jumper just before the buzzer brought the Bulldogs' lead down to just 29-24 at halftime. For all your window cleaning needs, one call to The Window Ninjas does it all. Visit our Facebook page at The Window Ninjas Gila Valley for a complete list of services, or give us a call at 965-4997 for a free in-home estimate and let us enlighten your windows. At the start of the third period, Gutierrez got the friendly rim for the score, but Pima answered right back as Judd found Ashby for the layup. Early in the period, Andrew Smith took the ball to the bucket, but tweaked his left ankle as it came down on the foot of Ferguson. Smith walked off with a slight limp to the bench and was not seen out on the floor during the rest of the game. With the loss of Smith, Gutierrez stepped up his game and scored several times on drives into the lane. Dom finished with a team-high 13 points. However, Pima kept pace by getting second chance shots from Ashby and Pruszynski, who finished with a game high 17 points. Sawyer also kept up the offensive pressure, and when he hit this three pointer, the Rough Riders were only down two as the third period ran down. Chavez took control in the waning seconds of the third and hit on this layup to give Safford a 43 39 lead heading into the fourth. Krasinski then went back to work down low and hit Jake Whitaker off the double team for an easy bucket. Krasinski then put back his own miss to tie the game at 43 and believed he was fouled in the process, a thought he conveyed to the official who took offense and gave him a technical foul. Cochran couldn't hit the free throws on the tech, but he came back to score down low anyway. However, Drew Thompson answered with a huge bucket to give Pima its first lead of the night, 46-45, with about five minutes left in the game. The elation didn't last long as Cochran came back with a deep two to retake the lead for Safford, and Wiltbake extended it as he flexed his muscles down low. Things then began to unravel for Safford as Chavez was called for a technical foul for slapping the ball out of Whitaker's hands and onto his own player lying on the court after a jump ball call. Thurgeson hit a baseline jumper to extend the lead to 52-49. Shortly thereafter, Chavez gathered up a loose ball and he headed toward the other goal. And he could go all the way to the bucket for the score, but the wily Judd was in position and took a big charge to change the possession and negate the bucket. But the Bulldogs had a chance to tie it up on this three-pointer from Cochran, but it just rimmed out. In the waning minutes of the game, Safford still had a chance until Drew Thompson stole the ball from Chavez and forced the turnover on the jump ball call. Alec Mayberry Money Judd then hit six straight free throws to ice the game for the Rough Riders, 
59 to 51. We got down big and we just had the mentality score, stop, score, and we executed that well, I thought, in the second half. They had the right game plan, but I just kept working hard and kicked it to my guys whenever they did, and we made them pay. Felt I feel like we should win this game. Anything else you guys want to say about tonight's victory? It's a good one. We got to limit turnovers. When we can limit turnovers, we're, we're a good team. We're hard to beat, but uh, second quarter, we got a little turnover happy, and uh, Safford takes advantage of those types of things. And so I think about with about three minutes to go in the second quarter, we started the, I think we ended the second quarter on a 8-0 run to cut it to five. And then, uh, you know, and then we kind of played back and forth through the third quarter, and then we caught them about midway through the fourth. We try to tell the guys persevere when things aren't going well. We need to stick together and really, you know, encourage each other and work hard and good things happen. So, Reporting from Stafford for the Gila Herald, I'm John Johnson.